what you like to see right there. Oh, look at that bend. That's a good fish. Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. Are bright lights keeping you from catching catfish at night? Well, you're going to want to watch this video because we're going to talk about that. Well, as many of you know, fishing for catfish at night is a tradition in the catfish world. Uh, people have been fishing at night for catfish for, well, probably as long as we've been chasing these whiskered fellows in our waterways. There's a lot of reasons people fish at night. Some people believe that catfish bite better at night. Some people believe that the bigger catfish feed more at night. Uh, then on the other hand, there's a lot of people uh, where this is the only time they get to go. They may be working during the day, tied up during the week, and getting out at night is the only time to go. A lot of people, especially in the summertime, myself included, go out at night to escape the heat and boat traffic, uh, especially if you're fishing on the weekends, uh, is really about the only way to get away from uh, getting bombarded with pleasure boats. So all of these things, uh, you put them together and it means that a lot of people are out there fishing at night. I enjoy fishing at night. I like it when it's really, really late, especially early morning type fishing uh, when pleasure boaters are off the water and it's pretty much just fishermen out there. It's very peaceful, very calm and uh, you can pretty much fish anywhere you want to. Uh, you can fish in a lot of places you normally uh, couldn't fish uh, during the day on a July Saturday. One of the things is when you're out there fishing, you need to be able to see what you're doing. Lighting has evolved a long way on boats from just somebody having a little lantern or a flashlight to uh, most of the uh, big time cat chasing guys out there have some pretty elaborate lighting setups on their boats with LEDs and uh, in water lights. Some people think that helps catch catfish and some people think that it keeps you from catching catfish. The basic theory from the folks who do not like lights is that uh, the lights keep fish away. Uh, they are wary of lights. Uh, they don't like to be around them. They don't like to be in them. Uh, they are predators. They are masters of darkness and they prefer to stay in the dark. On the other hand, you have fishermen uh, that believe that the lights attract uh, bait fish and the bait fish bring in the catfish to feed on them. Well, it's hard to say who's right and who's wrong, and I don't know really any way to prove uh, one side right or wrong, but I'll give you a few of the facts surrounding lights and using them at night. First thing is, what happens with lights is the fish aren't attracted to the light as much as the plankton and fine little organisms in the water are attracted to it. Now, the side effect of all of those things coming to the light is that the bait fish that feed on these microorganisms come in to feed on it. And these are tiny, tiny fish, little bitty things, uh, not even as long as your pinky. They will come in to feed, bigger fish will come in to feed on them, bigger fish will come in to feed on them. We basically are creating a little food chain, a little circle of life right there around your boat uh, by using lights, especially submersible lights, uh, in the water uh, to attract these bait fish. Now, fishing at night with lights is very popular with crappie fishermen. A lot of crappie fishermen go out at night fishing, put lights in the water on top of the water, uh, illuminate it, bring in the bait fish, and then put their baits around to try to catch crappie that are coming in under the lights. One of the things that you will hear from a lot of crappie fishermen is they don't fish directly on the light. They fish the fringes. Some of them even fish out past where the light is illuminating. Theory being, and it's pretty well proven that there's a lot of fish that stage up in those areas to come in and attack uh, the small fish that are swimming in the light and around the light. It gives them a little bit of a better place to set up and prey on them. Well, what is my take on lights and how they affect catfish? Well, this year, uh, here recently, I started doing more fishing videos at night and somebody saw me in one of them. I was using one of my television lights mounted on the side of the boat to light up the water. This is one that's not submersible. It's just on the side of the boat shining into the water. Uh, same way a lot of crappie and striper fishermen uh, illuminate the water when they're fishing at night. And uh, this company, Illumacy, which I'll put you a link down below uh, in the description, 
sent me a light. Uh, they sent me a um, submersible green LED light uh, that is dropped down into the water. Uh, it brings in the bait fish. It's a really nice light. Uh, they make several models. Uh, the one that they sent me was one of their higher end models that runs on uh, regular household electricity. So if you have a fishing pier or if you're running a generator on your boat, uh, you can power it off of household electricity. And it also has a converter uh, that enables you to plug it straight onto your battery on the boat and uh, use uh, battery power to uh, run it. Another cool thing with this model is it's dimmable. Uh, you can make it bright, make it uh, you know less bright, lower it down, change the intensity on it. Really cool really well built. Uh, they make a couple options though. This was their higher end light. They've got some uh, more affordable options. If you go to my website, DieterMelhornFishing.com, I've got a gear section. I've got some links on there uh, to their light so you can go check them out, see if it's something that you're interested in. Uh, but I've been using those uh, and it's been a game changer for me in a couple of ways. One, it makes filming at night a lot better. I really enjoy it now. One of the biggest issues I've, I've had with illumination and our fishing at night has been illuminating the water. You always have this big dark black abyss out there that you can't see anything in. So this light helps there. The other thing is this does bring in a lot of bait fish, uh, a lot of fish. I've been able to catch crappie and perch around it in the perimeter. I've been able to sit there and watch fish feed on the smaller fish. And my theory is that I think that feeding activity is good. Activity brings on activity. Uh, when fish start to feed, I think it sparks other fish to feed. I think these fish can sense it. How many times have you been out there fishing, have several rods in the water, one goes off and almost instantly another rod in another direction goes off. It's almost like there's an impulse. They can feel it, hear it, sense it. My thinking is that having these fish feeding there helps bring fish in. Now, I don't really fish directly under the lights. I've still got stuff casted out past the reach of these lights. Uh, I don't even know if the fish can actually see these lights. I'm sure they probably can see something brighter over in that direction. But all my baits are on the fringes, past the fringes of this light. And that's the way I like to fish them. Uh, that's, so far, it's been productive. I put some big fish in the boat at night this year. Uh, we've caught a couple of good flatheads. We've caught a couple of good blues. And it definitely has not scared any fish off. Uh, we're into a phase now where the fishing's kind of bad right now. It's kind of, uh, we're in a phase where there's like this window, uh, usually a 90 minute to two hour window. Uh, and that's when we've been catching fish around the lights. I'm looking forward to some good fishing that is pretty steady coming back because I really want to put this light to use then and see how it works. But that's kind of my theory on the lights. I would not shy away from them. Now, with that said, uh, the areas that I'm fishing, I'm not parked on top of either. If you guys are fishing for flatheads and you're fishing right next to a tree and you've let out anchor rope and got right next to it, I don't know that I would be lighting it up necessarily. But if you're a good casting distance away from it, uh, and you know, I wouldn't have a problem using it. I've fished the places we had been pulling flatheads out of uh, this summer so far using the light. They're always uh, around some submerged trees that we can see on our structure scan, and uh, it's casting distance away, and uh, I haven't had any negative effects so far. Now, do you have to have lights to catch catfish at night? No, uh, you can catch catfish just fine, uh, especially if you're in an area that's got some feeding going on and an area that is important to those fish to be in, whether it be structure, uh, bait fish, whatever. Uh, I fished for years and years without using lights and caught fish just fine. Uh, I think it's a good tool to have. I think it will make a difference on certain days on whether you catch fish or not, but don't feel like it's something you have to go rush out and buy right now. I know uh, sometimes uh, you can watch these videos, see fishing tips, and you feel like, man, I gotta have that right now. 
pace yourself is what I'm getting at, folks. Uh, if it's something you're looking at doing, uh, something you've been concerned about doing, don't hesitate to do it uh, if it's something you want to do. But I don't think it's something you have to have right away, especially if you're starting out fishing, just putting together a good collection of gear. Uh, this is something that you can keep in mind uh, for down the road to add, uh, you know, add to your arsenal of tools. Uh, the one thing is, though, I will say, having the light in the water is very nice on the rods. When that water is lit up, I drop mine in usually right next to my motor, generally because it's out of the way there. But when the water's lit up, it lights up the rods uh, and it's just beautiful illumination. You can see what's going on with your rods, see what's going on with your lines. And best of all, if you're trying to shoot a YouTube video or something on Facebook, you got the water lit up and you can see the fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.